Hey everybody, Nicole Parks, your independent Scentsy consultant here. We are back smelling through the Scentsy Fall and Winter 2021 catalog. We have so far gone through the Spice, Bakery, Fresh, and Woods categories, and we are now going to talk about Fruity. This is always a good category for me personally. I love all the Fruity scents usually. So with that being said, we will go ahead and get started. First up is Autumn Road Trip. Really nice orange color. And it says, take a tour through crisp harvest apple, just picked Anjou pear, and a forest of towering silver oak. Mm, that's nice. I get all of that. This has a cologne, a cologne kind of current to it. Um, and the crisp, they say crisp harvest apple. I get the crispness, definitely. I get the fruitiness and I get the oak smell too. So the accurate, um, the scent description was really accurate. And I think this is going to be a good one. Actually, this one is also coming out Monday in a cleaning bundle. I believe this one and cider mill and I plan to get both of them because this is a really nice scent that I would definitely not mind wafting through my house. That was autumn road trip. Next up is very blessed. Focus. There you go. And it says, soft vanilla and cranberry sprinkled with sparkling sugar is pure bliss. Oh, that's a really pretty scent too. And I completely agree with their scent description. You really get the cranberry in this. I think the vanilla, you're not so much getting like a hit of vanilla as it is, it's just mellowed the cranberry out. And I'm not sure what sparkling sugar is supposed to smell like, but... The sugared note, like yes, sugared cranberries is pretty much what this is. It's really nice. Next up is black raspberry vanilla, which has been around for a hot minute. And it's a strong one, guys. It's strong. It says delicious sun-sweetened dark berries warmed with vanilla. Yeah, it's really nice. And this one actually, uh, black raspberry vanilla, if you're warming and your warmer dishes get dirty, um, there's a hack to cleaning them. You just warm your black raspberry vanilla and your dishes are sparkling clean like they're brand new all over again. I don't know what kind of magic they put in the bars, but whatever it is, kudos, because it makes my life easier. So that's black raspberry vanilla. Next up is bright cider life. And they say, Spiced Harvest Cider comes to life with luscious pumpkin and a slice of red apple. Mmm. Okay, so this is different. Like, if you're, if you're thinking to yourself, apple cider, you're going to be wrong. Because this is deeper. This is a deeper smell. Um, it almost has like a baked feeling to it. Um, that must be the pumpkin that's giving it that depth of smell because it's it's not it's not bubbly like if you're thinking of apple cider it's kind of like a lighter um like that fresh apple scent this i get a lot of pumpkin out of and it's definitely got all the fall vibes it's really nice um i ordered some of this as well because i'm interested to see warming which fall scent i like the best this is definitely it's really nice. It's, uh, I don't know that I would call it bright cider life because I don't particularly find this bright at all. To me, it's more of a warm, a warm, homey kind of lived in scent. It's not, it's not like bright like you would expect, like with a zing of like freshness. I don't know. But it is very nice. It's a very nice scent. That's bright cider life. All right, next up, we have Caramel Apple Craze. And my daughter loves this one. Scentsy says, Creamy golden caramel, sweet red delicious apples, and whipped vanilla invite you to be a trick-or-treater again. 
So I definitely, I get the, um, the caramel note in the background, but this feels like, if you've ever smelled Macintosh uh, from Yankee Candle, this, the four note is very much Macintosh from Yankee Candle. It's just like they slipped in some caramel up underneath it. It's really nice. It's a nice scent. I'm not huge on syrupy smells. I'm sure you've heard me say that before. Um, this does have a slight one, so I would not be warming this. My daughter may. Um, but first and foremost in this scent is definitely the apple. It hits first, so it's not too bad with the syrupy. All right, next up we have Cloudberry Dreams, and you guys, I love this scent. Uh, it's not focusing. I love this scent. It's really, really nice. It says, sweet raspberry and a whisper of rose soar through billowy, billowy bursts of peach and vanilla. This is a really nice feminine scent. It's, oh, it's just, uh, I don't really know. I get the raspberry, the peach and the vanilla. I don't get rose. There is a, there's a hint of rose, like, it's a very back end, and it's not powdery at all. It's almost like the, the whiff of you were to go and smell a rose fresh, and you just get, like, that back end note of it. It's not powdery in any sense of the imagination. I think this is one of my favorites from this catalog, because it's just... It's got that feminine smell to it where I could see myself like, you know, laundry. This comes in our laundry products. And I can see myself like totally washing my laundry in this. It's just really nice and it's not overly, it's not, it's not too light and it's not too powerful. It's like the perfect strength. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really, really excited for this scent this year. Next is Jeweled Pomegranate, and we have like a couple of pomegranates here. We got Pomegranate Prosecco, Perfectly Pomegranate, and Jeweled Pomegranate. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of those in a row so that you can kind of get the difference between them. So first up is the Jeweled Pomegranate, and it says, Shimmering Pomegranate sparkles with sugared mandarin and a twinkle of cinnamon. So, this is just Christmas and fruit. You, you do get the pomegranate in there. And it's nice. It's really nice. So, then there is pomegranate Prosecco, which says, delectable roseberry and pomegranate add an effervescent splash to a flute of pink Prosecco. Oh, and see this? This is not Christmassy at all to me. This is bubbly. Um, it's literally like if you had just poured yourself a glass of sparkling wine, you're going to get that effervescent uh, sense to this. It's really, it's really nice and it is, it's bubbly. <laughs> I know I keep saying bubbly. But this is like if you're taking a sip of a bubbly drink and you're getting those like bubbles popping near your nose. That's exactly what this is with the pomegranate scent in there with it. And then the other pomegranate scent is perfectly pomegranate. And this one says dark and juicy pomegranate with a sweet berry finish. This is a classic. And this one to me has almost a melon scent to it. It's almost like... Almost like uh, there's an undertone to this that kind of reminds me of like watermelon Jolly Ranchers, but it's like when you smell it, you don't smell just watermelon Jolly Ranchers. You definitely get the bear. It's like berry. It's, I don't know if I would call that pomegranate. Maybe that's what pomegranate smells like and I just don't realize it. But I would say out of all the pomegranate scents, the pomegranate Prosecco is nice if you don't want the Christmassy vibes. The jeweled pomegranate is nice if you do want more of the holiday vibe going with it. And the perfectly pomegranate is just not my cup of tea. All right, sea salt and avocado. 
is our next one. And they say, you do you while pink sea salt, Valencia orange, and creamy avocado keep your spirit in flight. And this is really nice. I, to me, this, this belongs in the same category of fresh scents right alongside um, aloe water and cucumber, which you guys know I'm not here for it. But this one, this I actually like. And I don't really know, um, I don't really get avocado. Like, avocado to me doesn't really have a, a huge presence as far as scents go. But I get the Valencia orange and the sea salt in this. And it's really nice. It's a fresh scent and there's nothing holiday about this. So, this is a nice switch up. I think, I think you guys would really, really like this one because it's just... It's fresh. It'd be really good for bathrooms. Yeah, that's a really good bathroom scent. All right, next up is Snowberry. Pure white. It says luscious blend of loganberry, strawberry, peppermint, and zesty cinnamon. So like off the bat, what a strange combo, right? I don't know what loganberry smells like, but strawberry, peppermint, and cinnamon. I get the, you know, I would I would expect the strawberry and the peppermint because you think those things go together, but I would not have ever thought, let me throw some cinnamon with some mint and some strawberry. So, but you guys, this is amazing. I actually think this is like a really fresh scent as well. I get why they would put it in the fruity category because you do get that hit of, hit of the fruit. But like when I smell this, Strawberry doesn't really hit me, but the mint and cinnamon are strong in this, and I like it, man. This is a really, really good one, and I don't know if I ordered this or not, but if I didn't, I'm going back to get it because that's just different. It's different. It's got the clean smell. If you've smelled um, the Scentsy Mandalorian bar or the Sand Swept bar, this has a hint of that same fresh uh, scent that you get out of that. But it's different at the same time because it's got that cinnamon and that mint together going in there. It's, it's actually really good despite the strange description. It's really, really nice. All right. Tinselberry. We got a lot of berries and stuff, so <laughs> bear with me. This one says strawberry and cranberry dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar for a little extra sparkle. Yeah. I get that. I don't get the strawberry, but I get the cranberry, cinnamon, and sugar. And this smells like Big Red. Um, I, I, in my video I did the other day, I said Cinnamon Bear smells like Red Hots and Big Red Gum. I think it would be, after having smelled this, more accurate to say. Well, no. I stand, well... Cinnamon Bear is Red Hots. This is Big Red Gum or Hot Tamales maybe? Because there's a sweetness to this that the Cinnamon Bear is just hot cinnamon and this is like sweet cinnamon. Sweet cinnamon but in the Big Red type of way, not in the like cinnamon that you would get out of your spice drawer type of way. That's Tinselberry. All right, then we have Very Merry Cranberry. So lots of cranberry things going on here. This says lush red winter berries pop against a backdrop of snow covered cedar, creating a lovely winter landscape. And I would agree with that. This is a really nice one too. It's just, it's, it's on the lighter side for me. So warming it, I don't know how it would do, but it's really nice. It's, it's another Christmas. Like I, I could see myself Warming this in November and December for, for sure. Very Merry Cranberry. And then next up is a returning one. It's a bestseller Winterberry Apple Tea. It says winter tea cozies up to cranberry, apple, and honey. And I don't know what it is about this. I love this. Um, I've actually had this in my Scentsy Club now 
throughout the entire summer. Of course, I've not been melting it because it's just not for this time of year. But this is really good. It's it's good. It's you you kind of do get that like you get everything it says is in here and it's and it's fruity and spice forward at the same time like it's just cozy. It's a cozy scent. So, it's it's still in my club. It's going to stay in my club. I mean, I took it out for this winter because it's here, but as soon as we have to make edits to our clubs, I'll be, this will never leave my club because it's, it's just, it's cozy. And then last, but my absolute favorite scent in this entire catalog for the fall and winter. And this too, I will never get rid of. It will go in my club and it will stay there till I die or until they pry it from my cold dead hands, is Scarlet Sunflower. And surprisingly, this scent was the one that I was least excited about because I'm not huge into flowers. Um, well, I, I love flowers in real life. I'm not huge into floral scents, I should say. Um, and I had no idea what a sunflower was gonna smell like. So when I saw this, I'm like, eh, that's probably gonna be bottom of my list. No, this has a scent memory for me and it's it's nostalgic for me because when I smell this oh my gosh I'm immediately taken back to when I was probably in sixth grade and I don't know I think it was a Febreze I think it was Febreze like a Febreze scent in um that was out at that time I, I don't know I don't know if it was like a specialty or if that was just the formula at the time I have no idea but this reminds me of what I sprayed my I sprayed my whole room in Febreze before I went to the beach. And for some reason that memory sticks out in my mind when I smell this. It's not anything I would have ever thought about any other time, but as soon as I smelled this, I thought sixth grade the night before I went to the beach when I was packing my stuff. I was spraying this around my room and th this is it's spot on. So they say juicy apple and a hint of red cranberry are brightened by a scarlet sunflower turning to face the sun. I don't know about any of that. This is just a really, really, really great scent. Um, when, you, when you hear the description, you think it's just, okay, more apple, more cranberry. No. This is... Um, it's deeper than that. And is it another sophisticated scent, which is probably why I also like it? This is just one you guys are just gonna have to get and smell. And and tell me if I'm crazy, if you do, because to me, this is Febreze from like, when was that? Like 1997? I don't know. No, 98, it was either 98 or 99. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's it's top of my list out of this whole whole thing. It's amazing. Scarlet Sunflower. If you don't get anything else out of this catalog, get this one. This is it right here. All right, so that's all we've got. Um, we're actually coming to the end of all of this. I've just got five more scents to talk about over a span of two categories. So join me in that video whenever you see it pop up. And until next time, guys, thanks.